Caro can defense, Brayer variation, 2, d5 3 dot nd2 e5 4 dot ngf3 bd6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. d3 keeps the light squared bishop trapped behind the pawn chain while defending the e4 pawn and allowing the dark squared bishop to advance. The light squared bishop can advance and the e4 pawn is attacked when d5 invades the center. And d2 protects the e4 pawn while moving the knight toward the center. The dark squared bishop can emerge because e5 occupies space in the center, controls the d4 square, and does so. And gf3 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the e5 pawn. Bd6 develops the bishop to the center and defends the e5 pawn. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is a fair deal after all captures. This is an equal trade. It is the last book move. That's fine. It is good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This secures a pawn. That's good. This prevents a rival bishop's check. That's good. This misses the chance to claim a free pawn. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to block a check from the opposing queen. It is a mistake. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This threatens to kick a queen. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is best. There is an easier way to transport a queen to safety than this. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a mistake. This ignores a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. This may succeed in winning a bishop. That's good. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses a chance to win back a piece. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to get something back. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. 
that's good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.